Hallelujah. We thank God for yet another day. Amen. My name is Minister Afari. Subscribe and share as we spread the gospel of the grace of God. Beloved, I want to quickly talk to you about a prophecy that was given by Apostle Paul um, to Christians in Acts chapter 20 and the verse 29. Paul said, after my departure shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Amen. And I want to talk to you quickly about the preaching of Duncan Williams. Amen. A preacher of the law in this dispensation of the grace of God, who is so bold to lift up the law of God more than the dispensation of the grace of God and the grace that God has given to the world through the death of his son. And that is what makes him an enemy of the cross of Christ, according to Apostle Paul. Amen. Beloved, there are problems in this world. There are problems in this world. And in this volatile, natural world, any word of hope to the vulnerable is sure to suit their fear of the unknown. Amen. And a lot of people are entertaining fears of all kinds and of all levels. Hallelujah. Um, and the Bible said um, there are people in this world who are suffering. That's why the Bible says for the sufferings of this present world um, is not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. So people are suffering and it is scriptural. It is scriptural. And there are people who are having trust issues. And there are people who are who are being encountered with life-threatening diseases. Amen. There are people who are disappointed in various ways. And some have also failed in life in one way or the other. Sometimes people embark on ventures which result contrary to their expectations. Amen. And beloved, it is these matters of concern that have given the rise of false and prosperity preachers such as Duncan Williams, who preaches that um, the physical blessings which God promised to the nation Israel under the law are still applicable for us who are living in this dispensation of the grace of God. And that is a lie that cannot be traced anywhere in the scriptures. Duncan William asserts that God is still in the business of blessing his children um, physically under grace. And come with me in the scriptures and let us find out if those assertions are true. Amen. And in the book of Ephesians chapter 3 and the verses 1 and 2, Paul said, he said, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which was given to me, you would. Amen. According to Apostle Paul, there is something called the dispensation of the grace of God. And Paul said, this dispensation was given unto him to give to Gentiles. And then of course, he said in verse 1, that for this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles. Beloved, 19 times in the scriptures, the Bible says, Apostle Paul is the apostle designate for us Gentiles and the grace. But yet, Duncan William still goes on so strongly to elevate the law of God and the preaching of the law, which is attached with the physical and material blessings in this dispensation of the grace of God. And that, I say again, is a lie and simply makes him an enemy of the cross of Christ. In the book of Romans chapter 15 and the verse 8, Paul said, Now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister 
of the circumcision to confirm the promises made unto the fathers. Amen. Beloved, what you read in the scriptures in Matthew through John are things concerning Jesus Christ. And the Bible is saying he was the minister of the circumcision for the Jews, preaching the kingdom gospel over there. Check the book of, I think it's, it's Mark chapter 9, somewhere in the verse 35. Either Mark, yes, either Mark or Mark chapter 9 and the verse 35. Christ is preaching in the synagogues about the gospel of the kingdom. That is exactly what is in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Amen. And I'm still on the book of Romans. Um, um, 15 and the verse 16. Paul says, And now I should be made the minister of Jesus Christ to you Gentiles. Amen. Um, the word the over there, the minister, is a definite article. Differentiating Apostle Paul's ministry from that of the twelve and the other apostles of Christ. Paul says, and now I should be made the minister of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ had so many ministers. But the minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles, according to Paul in Romans 15, 16, is Apostle Paul. Hallelujah. In Galatians chapter 2 and the verse 7, come with me. And the Bible said, Paul specifically, he says, But contrary wise, when they saw, when they, who are the day over there? In Galatians 2, 9, so, sorry, 7. It is Peter, James, and John. Listen, Paul said, when they saw that, the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter. These are the two gospels. One is the gospel of the uncircumcision, which is the grace gospel to us Gentiles. Paul says, when Peter, James, and John saw that that gospel was committed unto him, as the gospel of the circumcision, which was the kingdom gospel, was also committed unto Peter. Never combine the two gospels because combining the two gospels means you are combining God's spiritual blessings for us who are living under grace with the physical blessings which were promised exclusively to Israel under the law. Duncan William has the zeal of God, just like the people of Israel. But the Bible said that their zeal is not according to knowledge. It is one thing to memorize the scriptures. And it's another thing to understand the scriptures. Which is why the Bible said in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and the verse 15, the Bible said, Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Uh, the rightly dividing there means ototomeo. Ototomeo means to make a straight cut. God says, make a straight cut into his word. Divide the word of truth rightly by separating the laws under the law. And the laws and the grace. You don't mix the law and grace together in this dispensation of the grace of God to bewitch the people who are babies in Christ, Duncan Williams. You don't do that. And you are so ignorant in understanding the simple things of the scriptures. Hallelujah. And I'm going on. Beloved, Duncan Williams does not understand the distinctiveness of Apostle Paul's ministry from Peter, James, and John. He does not understand that Apostle Paul stands for this dispensation, which is the dispensation of the grace of God, and that the book of Acts was a book of transition. 
with God transitioning the world from the law into grace. And 2,000 years after this time of transition, preacher Duncan Williams is still into what the Bible deems as damnable heresies. Preaching things that he ought not to even mention in this dispensation of the grace of God. Amen. And come with me to the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and the verse 3 to, to see how wrong your papa is. Amen. In the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and the verse 3, and Paul said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Preacher Duncan Williams, the author of the blessings and the grace is God. Preacher Duncan Williams, this blessing and the grace according to the scriptures is spiritual and not physical as how the Jews had it under the law. And preacher Duncan William, the nature and the sphere, the sphere of this blessing is not on this planet earth because the Bible states it clearly that this blessing has been given to us in the heavenly places. It is a lie from the pit of hell that God still intervenes into the affairs of humanity to heal them, according to Duncan Williams. It's a lie from the pit of hell that God intervenes into the life of the believers and puts him on the path of prosperity. It is a lie from the pit of hell um, that when you pray, God will protect you in this dispensation of the grace of God. He does not even understand that the suffering that the believer is going through is biblical and there is nothing that prayers can do about the suffering of the believer until the day when God will come and give us our resurrected body which is in the heavenly places. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and the verse 1, Paul says, For we know that even if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we know that we have a building of God and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Beloved, this body is called corruptible body. Beloved, this life is mixed with joy and suffering. No prayers can change that. And he desires to bewitch you like how Simon bewitched the Samaritans. But because you are a babe in Christ and a follower of a blind preacher, you don't seem to open your eyes and allow the written word of the Lord to guide you. Rather than following man because you are a man pleaser the blessings and the grace is spiritual and not physical amen and Dr. Williams is a guide of the blind and a teacher of babes why because he carries home full of oil to anoint people and the grace when the bible says specifically in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and the verse 21, that he which hath established us with you and anointed us is God. The moment you become a believer, God spiritually establishes you in the faith and anoints you, which is spiritual anointing. That is different from the anointing that your papa carries out every now and then. He is a blind of the guide and a teacher of babes. Why? Because he carries a physical sword and then dashes them to people as a gift. 
and a symbol of protection. When the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6 and the verse 17 that the sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. You don't carry any physical sword anymore as a symbol of protection because under grace where where the Bible says the law was a shadow of things to come but now the body is of Christ. Under grace where the Bible says the law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ but now that Christ is here we set the law and its rudiments apart and you are still carrying a physical sword as a symbol of protection. How poor are you regarding understanding the simple things of the scriptures? Duncan Williams is a guide of the blind and a teacher of babes. Why? Because he says that the witch, the imaginary superstitious witch, is the one that is responsible for the evil in the life of children of God. But yet, in the book of Numbers chapter 23, in the verse 23, when Balaam decided to curse the people of God, he later said that there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. Amen. Um, a people of God are complete in Christ. According to Colossians chapter 2 verse 10, the Bible says, And ye are complete in Christ, which is the head of all principality and power. And yet, Duncan William says, You are not yet complete in Christ, except you pray and pay your tithe. Otherwise, the devil will through the witches destroy your life and kill you prematurely. Duncan Williams is a guide of the blind and a teacher of babes because he is a rebel by usurpation. He allows his followers who are blind to call him Papa. Usurping the authority that God gave Apostle Paul in this dispensation of the grace of God as the only spiritual father to everybody who is living in this dispensation of the grace of God. And therefore, in 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and the verse 15, Paul says, Even though you have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I, Paul, have begotten you through the gospel. Duncan William, just like myself, are just instructors of Christ. Paul is the spiritual father of all who are living in this dispensation of the grace of God. Paul was the spiritual father of Titus. He was the spiritual father of Timothy. He was the spiritual father of all the Colossians and the Corinthians and the Ephesians and the Thessalonic, the people of Thessalonica. He was the spiritual father of all those who were in the church under grace then and now and not your papa. A rebel who has usurped the authority of the apostle of the Gentiles. In this dispensation of the grace of God. Duncan Williams is a guide of the blind and a teacher of babes because he collects tithes from his church members, even though he does not come from the tribe of Levi. And the Bible said Christ could not even serve on the altar or receive tithes. Why? Because he was from the tribe of Judah and not from the tribe of Judah. From a Levi, sorry. And yet, Duncan William says, um, he has the, um, the position and the authority to re receive tithes from people of God in this dispensation of the grace of God. Who among the apostles of Christ have you ever read in the scriptures of receiving tithes from God's people? Neither Christ nor any of his apostles dead to receive tithes, but yet Duncan William claims ignorantly and in a very bold-faced manner that he has the audacity to take the position of a Levite under the law 
and receive tithes and the grace. And that is what makes him an enemy of the cross and a witch bewitching the people of God in the dispensation of the grace of God. Amen. Beloved, in the book of Romans chapter 10 and the verse 1, Paul said, For my heart's desire and my prayer to God for the people of Israel is that they might be saved. And Paul said that for I bear them record that they have the zeal of God but not according to knowledge. Duncan Williams is a guide of the blind and a teacher of babes who has the zeal of God and a form of godliness but yet not according to knowledge. Beloved, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and the verse 15 says we should rightly divide the word of truth. Separating the law from grace is what you ought to know and to understand in this dispensation of the grace of God. Run from Duncan Williams and run from his teachings. Call him to the truth. If not, run from him and run from his teachings. Grace and peace be with you until we meet again.